suppose the current in a certain circuit is as measured by an ammeter is a continuous random variable with the following PDF. So f of x is equal to 0.075x plus 0.2, where x is between 3 and 5. The first thing we want to do is find the CDF. This is f of x, and it is our cumulative density function. So to find f of x, we simply just integrate over our function, over or from our lower bound up to our placeholder of x. So let's say our PDF is 0.075, and I'm going to give it a placeholder of t plus 0.2, and I'm going to integrate with respect to t. This way, I will then have a function of x when I am done integrating. So this is then equal to 0.075 t squared over 2 plus 0.2 t evaluated from our lower bound of 3 up to our random variable x. And so if I plug in x to this expression, I get 0.075 x squared over 2 plus 0.2 x minus 0.075 3 squared over 2 minus 0.2 times 3. Okay, so if I simplify this, so this is now the CDF, but let's simplify it just a little bit. So if I simplify this, I will get 0 0.075 over 2 times x squared minus 9, that's simply just 3 squared, plus 0 0.2 times x minus 3. All right, so this is then my cumulative density function. So anytime I want to find the probability of x being less than a certain value, I can use this function now. So in part b, that's exactly what we want to do. Using our CDF, we want to calculate the probability that x is less than 4. Well, that is simply just probability of x being less than 4 is equal to the cumulative density function evaluated at 4. So f of 4 is simply just equal to 0 0.075 over 2, 4 squared minus 9, plus 0 0.2, 4 minus 3. And this is then equal to 0 0.075 over 2, 16 squared, so 4 squared is 16, minus 9 is equal to 7, plus 0 0.2 times 1. And this is then equal to 0 0.2625 plus 0 0.2, which is equal to 0 0.4625. So the likelihood that the current is less than 4 in the circuit is 0.4. 625. All right, so for part C, it says calculate the probability that x is greater than 4. Well, we in notation could say, okay, this is probability of x greater than 4. Well, one way that we could calculate this is to also say this is equal to 1 minus the probability x is less than 4. And we want to do that because we want to use the CDF to calculate this. And so this is equal to 1 minus f of 4, so our cumulative density function evaluated at 4. Well, luckily, we actually just calculated that. That is this value here. So this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.4625. And so this is equal to 0 0.5375. All right, and so we can just manipulate the probabilities to then be able to use the cumulative density function, which allows us to do a little less work, less of the calculus part when we're doing continuous random variable problems. All right, so for part D, if we scroll up, it asks us calculate the probability x is between 3.5 and 4. And of course, we could use calculus to do this, but we're going to use the CDF instead. So if we write this in notation, this means that this is the probability that 3.5 is less than x is less than 4. That's what this means. And this is equal to the probability that x is less than 4 minus the probability that x is less than 3.5, which is in turn equal to then these can be converted to 
the cumulative density function, so f of 4 minus f of 3.5. Well, luckily, we've actually just calculated the cumulative density function evaluated at 4. We got that this is equal to 0 0.4625, so we don't have to calculate that, but we do need to then evaluate the cumulative density function at 3.5, and this is equal to, well, we're going to subtract it, is equal to 0 0.075 over 2, 3.5 squared, I'm going to put these in brackets. 3.5 squared minus 9 plus 0 0.2 times 3.5 minus 3. All right, so we're going to carry along this 0 0.4625. And what we'll find is that 3.5 squared minus 9 is simply just equal to... 3.25 plus then 0 0.2 times 3.5 minus 3. We find that that's just equal to 0 0.5, so 1 half, and 0 0.4625 minus, then if we evaluate this expression here, we get 0 0.2 21875. So actually that is the whole expression. So that is when we evaluate our cumulative density function at 3.5. All right, and now we have to subtract it from 0.4625 and we get then the probability that the current is between 3.5 and 4 equal to 0 0.240625. All right, and of course you wouldn't have to carry the probability out to that many decimal places. I've just done it here for for showing you how to do the problem. All right, hopefully this video helped you understand how you can use the cumulative density function in continuous random variable problems.